What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We're not back on that ranked double ladder, but this time having some fun with it. We got ourselves a double weather team for Regulation D with some off meta Pokemon like Revival Blessing Rapsica. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we got double weather today. We got Tyranitar with the Houndstone combo, and then we also have a very strong regulation D combo with Pelipper and Basket Legion. But the first Pokemon I'm going to go over with today's team preview is going to be Rapska. Rapska is one of those Pokemon that you never see on the rank ladder. So this one should be fun. It's got Telepathy as its ability, so allied Pokemon cannot hit him. So that's going to be really good paired up with our Explosion Regilecki. Then on top of that, it's got the Lepaberry. It's got Revival Blessing for a move, Protect, Struggle Bug, and Psychic. It can actually be paired up with Regilecki. You can go into Explosion, Explode, and Revival Blessing in the same turn and bring Regilecki right back to life. So... Really, really cool combo right there. I'm, I'm kind of about it. I'm definitely about it. But uh, second Pokemon on today's team is going to be that Regilecki. It's got Transistor and a normal gem to make Explosion do as much damage as possible. It also has a normal Terror type with E Speed, Wild Charge, and Acrobatics. Houndstone is in our third slot, and like I said, it pairs up with Ty Tyranitar perfectly because it has the Sand Rush ability. It's got the Citrus Berry as its item with Bulldoze, Last Respect, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. Tyranitar is in our fourth slot, and Tyranitar is just solid all around. Its typing is great, its terror is great, and its moveset's phenomenal. It's got Sandstream for weather control, Assault Vest as item, Rock Slide, Terror Blast, Crunch, and Heavy Slam. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Pelipper, or as I like to call it, Paloops over here. My boy Paloops has been killing it on the rank ladder for us. It's got Drizzle, it's got the Focus Ash, rocking with Hydro Pump, Hurricane, Helping Hand, and Wide Guard. Finally, Paloops' best friend is in our final spot. It's going to be Basket Legion with Swift Swim and a Life Orb as its item. Rock and Last Respects, Liquidation, Aqua Jet, and Protect for an amazing moveset for any Basket Legion. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this double weather Rapska Regulation D team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and of course, we're going up against top tier meta teams. Every time I use off meta squads, the meta squads come out here, which is kind of annoying. It definitely is annoying, but we're going up against Cleavor, uh, Tornadus, alongside with Shen Pao, Urshfu, and Dragonite combo, and then last but not least, they are rocking out with Fluttermane. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I kind of want to go Regilecki Rapska, just to try to pull off the combo. I think it'd be pretty cool, right? I'm kind of about it. I always like pulling off combos for you guys, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for that, and then we have to bring in a weather combo in the back end, whether it be Pelipper and Basque Legion, or uh, Tyranitar and Houndstone. And looking at the matchup that we're versing, I think Tyranitar and Houndstone could work a little bit better in our favor. So I'm going to bring in both of them. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's see who they end up leading. Let's see who they end up leading. This could be tough. It definitely could be tough. Again, every time I use off meta squads, we're always going up against top tier meta, and it's so hard to play up against the meta if you're not using them. So we're trying to we're trying to pull some stuff off here. So I end up going into these two. Um Okay, I could struggle bug the The Flutter main a little bit. That could be good. Special attack is gonna get boosted. Um I think I am still just gonna send a struggle bug. I could Terrasilize, I don't really feel like Terrasilize, and I might just wild charge the Cleaver slot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wild charge a Cleaver shot spot. So we wild charge that, we get off some nice, lovely damage. We have its health. Rocky Helmet, of course, is gonna hurt us. We'll see what happens from here. He ends up going for a Shadow Ball, just to KO me. I thought he would go for like a Dazzling Gleam, but that's gonna. Actually, Raps is going to stay alive. A little bit of bulky action there. And Stone Axe going to fly on this slot. And, of course, take out Regilecki. Regilecki's a little lightweight. But uh, I don't mind that too much. I don't think that's anything crazy. Of course, Stones are going to fall, which are going to take off my Focus Ash. But still, Raps is here to drop a nice little Struggle Bug. So we Struggle Bug doing a little bit of damage to both sides. Um, hmm. Do I bring out Houndstone? I'm thinking of going Houndstone and maybe, just maybe, just maybe Terrasilizing the ground. Mm, do I want to Terrasilize the ground? I want to get off a Revival Blessing. Now would be a decent turn to do it. I'm thinking of just Revival Blessing, Terrasilizing, and then just Shadow Sneaking the 
the Cleavor, and then maybe swapping in the Titar. That's going to be my play. That is what I'm going for. We're looking for big time plays. We're looking for revival blessings. But so tough to pull off this combo of just exploding because there's so many ghost type Pokemon or people or Pokemon that have ghost type terrors in the meta right now. This is big time. So we'll see. He's gonna end up fainting me. Thinking I'm gonna protect. Actually, it was just for first and priority. And I get off the Shadow Sneak. If I Shadow Sneak, I go into that. That leads me to think Shadow Ball is coming into the Houndstone slot, and that could be really good. Cause then I get off this uh this revival blessing. Yep, Shadow Ball is coming in here, so my plan worked out pretty well. We're going to be able to soak that up. And cool, I can always Shadow Sneak to Flutter me next turn. Of course, my special defense gets dropped. I got the Citrus Berry. I'm going to get back some HP, but more importantly, I revive my Regilecki. So we're, I like that. I like that. A little bit of Revival Blessing. I love this move. I thought it was so cool introduced. And I think they made it pretty perfect. They didn't make it OP. Everyone thought it was going to be OP, but it's not. But I do have the Leopard Berry, so I have Revival Blessing yet again if I want to use it. But chances are... Chances are, uh, what's it called? They're just gonna KO me next turn. So from here, who are they gonna go into? They might just go Shen Pao and look those sucker punch me. Oh, that'd be ugly. Do not go Shen Pao. Hate the first time priorities. They end up going Dragonite. I'm not Ghost type anymore, which is terrible. But I'm gonna go for Psychic here, and I'm gonna look to just actually. I'm gonna look to just get the weather. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hard swap Rapska. I'm gonna get Weather. And I'm gonna look to go for Last Respects right into Fluttermane. That's my play. That's my play. We're hoping we can eat up an E-Speed. I'm not too sure. They might just end up hard swapping Fluttermane for Shen Pao. That can get ugly. But what is that camera angle? What What is that? What is that? They end up setting up the Sandstream, which is gorgeous, which is lovely. And E-Speed's gonna come out here into the T-Tar slot. Cool. Ooh, I like that a lot. And now Last Respects can fly here. And does this KO? It does. Cool. I was going to say, we did revive a Pokemon, so it makes it do less damage. But still, Fluttermane's a little little weak Pokemon. So I'm able to dump on it. So now Buffett's coming out here. Take it off Multi-Scale, which is big time. I still have Rapsk in the back end. It's really not going to do much. Um, I think Shen Pao is going to be the final Pokemon here. And yeah, we'll go from here. I think we lose this match, though, which is awful, man. It is terrible. It is so ugly that we're going to lose this match. And I just see it coming. Like, I see a... I just already know what's going to happen. I see it in my mind. E-Speed's going to take out my Houndstone. Correct, right? Oh, yeah. E-Speed's going to take out Houndstone. And then, uh... Oh, this is ugly. And then Sacred Sword is going to take out T-Tar. So maybe I should just try to get off this Rock Slide. And maybe just sacrifice my Rapska here. To maybe get Regilecki out at the same time. I like that. I'm going to sacrifice the Rapska. Because we already know what's happening. And if, they, if they're not able to KO T-Tar, then I get off a big time rock slide. We'll see. So we're going to sacrifice the Rapsky here. It's just like if we leave him in there, there's a high chance of us losing this match. Stones are going to point into me. And of course I faint. Oh, I forgot about the stones, man. They're just doing me so dirty. E-Speed's going to fly here. Definitely going for a Sacred Sword, right? Anything will kill me. Yep. Yeah. And the reason I, I hard swapped in Rapsky, like they were both dying regardless. Oh, it's because I want to get Regilecki out here. Because Regilecki has E speed and he can outspeed some Pokemon, which is good. So now I can bring out you. Now I can bring out you. I could double dental. Do I double down to somebody? What's the plan here? I don't think Regilecki. I don't think anybody can KO anybody on my team. Okay, double down to Shen Pao. I think I should just go for an explosion. <laughs> In all honesty, no, probably not. That doesn't seem like it's gonna win us this match, but of course, yo, the meta doing me so bad. Uh, do I double down into Shen Pao? Could go here, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna double down to Shen Pao. I'm gonna double down to Shen Pao. I wanna see a Terrasalization come out for somebody. Probably Dragonite at this point. Maybe normal Dragonite. And yeah, I just knew that I knew that this these two in the back end would just do me dirty. Even though I played pretty well this match. Revive Pokemon did all that stuff. It's just so OP these two really are. End up going for an E speed. And my normal gem is gonna come out here. I totally forgot I had that too. And that does nothing. Barely helps us out. E speed's now gonna fly. That would have been a big time if we get a KO, but now nah, we were losing some of this. 
This one was over. This one was over. I tried. I tried. Even revived a Pokemon. But dude, the meta is just it's absurd right now. They really gotta they really gotta do something about it. They really do. Like it, it was cool at first because you got to use a bunch of different Pokemon, but like just seeing how strong Shen Pao and Dragonite and Urshfu are together, it's just like why would you use anything else? So we start off 0-1, little rough one here. Let's hop to our second match, look to pull off the combo and grab ourselves our first win. Hopping into our second match and we're looking to pull off the combo in this match. I feel like leading Rapska and Reg Lucky could do me good and then the weather squad I want to bring would maybe be Sandstorm or would it rather be Water? Hmm. Looking at his team, I kind of like the Sandstorm combo. But the water combo is so good with Basket Legion. I think I might just pull out the, the water one. I do like the water one, so... Oh, did not press Regilecki, but I'm going to go Regilecki. I am going to go Rapska. Pelipper, Basket Legion in the back end. And hopefully we get to pull off this combo. I would love for them to lead a Pokemon like Palafin, so we know he's probably swapping out or doing something like that. But we'll see what he wants to do. I'm kind of just scared of Fluttermane, because Fluttermane could ruin everything. It definitely could. We shall see. We shall see. But the one thing that kind of sinks if we do pull off this combo is if a Pokemon dies that was Terrastalized and you revive it, its terror type is gone, which is kind of annoying. I feel like it's just sad, but it'd be like that. So they're going to end up leading Tornadus and Urshu. Okay. Um, hmm. Tornadus and Urshu. I feel like from here, Retro Lucky, you should be able to outspeed. You should be able to outspeed Urshu. Even in Tailwind. Ah, it's cutting close. That is cutting real close. But you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going Revival Blessed. I'm Terrasalizing. And I'm exploding. I am exploding. I'm imploding my Regilecki to get some work done. We're going for it. So we'll see what he wants to do here. Tornadus could set up Tailwind or Terrasalizing. I would love to pick up a big time double kill. Okay, with Urshifu and Tornadus here. It would be insane would be lovely. So he's going to end up Terrasalize as well. Is that a water type burst for coming in here? Just go after my Rapska. KO my Rapska because I would love to go for a 2 for 2 here. So water is coming out. We're hoping our Regilecki could just outspeed. It would be lovely. It would be a lovely little thing. But he's definitely tailwinding, aren't you? And you go for Rain Dance. Rain Dance Aqua Jet? You going for Rain Dance Aqua Jet? No, you're not. Ooh, cool. We'll take it all day. We'll take it all day. So I'm exploding. I am then should be able to KO both you guys. Normal Gen's gonna 50% boost this. There it is. And is that double KO? It is a double KO. And on top of that, the combo is not over. They wasted their Terra, which is big on our end, but I get to revive my Regilecki in the same turn. And then I get to eat my Lepaberry, giving me another revival blessing if I want it later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I wish we would have won that first match, too, because this one we're off to a hot start with. Kaboom. Urshifu gone. Tornado's gone. And they didn't get any value out of their turns. They didn't set up a Tailwind. They just set up a Rain Dance, which I have Rain Squad in the back end, which I really like. Now I get to eat up my Lepaberry and have another Revival Blessing. <laughs> that is so good. I'm going to revive Regilecki, and I think Regilecki just comes back into play. He's ready to fight again. And he just comes right back. That is hilarious. I wish I was able to actually pick a Pokemon I'm going to swap into. Because at this point, I would love to swap into Basket Legion and save Regilecki. But we'll see who they want to go into. Shen Pao, obviously. And who else are you going here? And Bax Caliber. Shen Pao and Bax Caliber. So Shen Pao might just sucker punch me. So I do want to actually e-speed it at first. So I'm going to e-speed it, and I'm also just going to... Uh, Psychic, or do I just protect Rapska? See what we can do. I go for another explosion. That'd be hilarious. But he, I think he's, I think he's going for a sucker punch. So I'm gonna e speed before anything. Get off as much damage as I can. And if he's Sash, I can take off Poker Sash. So I'll protect Rapska. I can see an ice move coming in that slot, and we'll e speed over there. So if sucker punch is coming out here, we can get another turn. It is cool, awesome. We like that, and I think the ice move would be going in the Rapska. It is cool. We like that. Now, the real thing is, do we think he's going to go into a... Uh... I don't think he's going to go into another Sucker Punch. No, we're e-speeding. So, I'm going to go into a Wild Charge just to finish off Shen Pao. 
Yep. Look at these reeds, man. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. The reeds, man. The reeds. Instead of going for a E speed to not finish off Shen Pao, we end up making the reeds. He's not going in Sucker Punch. And we get to go for the KOs. So cool. I'm able to soak up these ice moves too. And I'm going to be able to struggle bug out here and drop another wild charge into Vax Calibur. So we almost have a sweep. Actually, yo, we're doing some mean damage to me. Bit too much damage. <laughs> Struggle bugs coming out here. Not gonna do anything crazy, but get a special attack drop. If we do that, I think he might quit the battle, and I'm just gonna drop a psychic. And on top of that, might as well explode, right? Does more damage. We're gonna explode. <laughs> We're gonna explode. It's gonna do more damage. So I'm gonna go for an explosion. He goes for an ice shard. Does KO me? Yeah, it does KO me. That hurts so. I want to explode so bad. It's okay, I got Basket Legion in the back end. I'm just going to him, and we'll, we'll wrap this battle up. I go for a Psychic. Raps gets doing some work. I'll go into Basket Legion. And you know what? I have another Revival Blessing, so I might as well use it, right? Just in case something goes downhill, I can revive the Regilac and get back into it. And yeah, let's do it. Leopard Berry's coming in clutch. We got another one of those, and then I'll just go for a nice, lovely last respect. So yo, the combo works perfectly in match number two. We grab ourselves a win, which is absolutely amazing. Love it. I love it. I love that we pulled that off. So happy. I, we almost got it in match number one, but we end up going a different route. We revived Regilecki, and then the meta just took over. But we dominated the meta in this match, which is awesome. Last Specs flies from Basket Legion. It's going to finish off Baxi. That's game one and one. Let's go hop into that third. Look for that winning record. Final match on its way, and I'm not going to lie. I think we could pull off the combo again in match number three. It was so fun to do it in match number two. Absolutely dominated that one. Looking to do it here. But do I go for it again? I know they got the ghost type. I know they have fake out with, um, with Rillaboom. So they could end up leading that, which could be annoying. Plus they got a lot of steel types. I don't think this combo is the way, way of this match, right? I don't think it's there. I really don't. So I might just lead a weather squad and send maybe Pelipper alongside Bash Legion. Or I can go Houndstone and T-Tar because I do have the ghost type. And I kind of do like that a lot. Because the ghost type can protect us from any, uh, any fake outs coming if they do want to lead Rollboom. So yeah, I'm going to go in with the Sand Squad. I am going to bring Regilecki in the back end. And then I think... Or do we just go double weather? Do I try double weather? I'm going to try double weather. I don't know why I'm feeling it, but... It's odd, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about the double weather. One weather goes out, one dies out, other one steps in. We'll give it a try. Like I said, we're using off meta squad today, so I'm not expecting too much from it, but I think we got out what I wanted to do. Shoot off the combo. Really, really cool. We almost won match number one, which was awesome. Maybe we can win this match. The Dragon Pole and the Iron Bundle come out here. Okay, okay. And we're going to bring out Titar alongside with Houndstone. Um, so, obviously, I outspeed. Obviously, I outspeed the what's called. The Dragapult. And Dragapult might Thrasslize. I could go for Last Respect. I could go for Shadow Sneak. But I'm thinking of just protecting him this turn. And then from here, I might just go for a Rock Slide. Terror Rock Slide could be good. I do like Terror Rock Slide. I'm gonna go for Terror Rock Slide. I feel, I feel as a lot of the tension is on Houndstone. Right? They're probably looking at my team like, Oh, Houndstone outspeeds. Houndstone super effective. So I'm just gonna protect it. Maybe let them come into me. See what they do from there. And we'll see if we can pull off this rock slot. Because I do believe they're going to go for maybe a Hydro Pump into the Titar slot. And kind of just, just eat it up. With this Terror type. It's just you turn anyway. Okay, so maybe I could attack the Houndstone. Maybe I could have. Let's see, we got a rock slide flying here, which is cool. We're going to bring out Cress. So Crest is going to come out here. A little bit of Crest action. The Icy one's going to fly. So that was actually a real bad terror from us. A real whack terror. I mean, you're already out, out uh, sped me, but it's okay. I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position. So from here, I'm going to drop a Rock Slide, do some big time damage on the Iron Bundle. Bring him down to low HP, which is huge. So from here, I can now Shadow Sneak Iron Bundle to finish it off and get off a Crunch on the Crest slot. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. So, bad terror on our end, but not a bad uh, turn for us. I'll take that turn all day. I will take that turn. So, from here, Shadow Sneak's coming out here. We gotta make sure we outspeed that thing. 
And we're just gonna go for the crunch. Go for the crunch. Shanna sneak flying. Built, built, built. See you later, Iron Bundle. That's a big time KO for us. And if I can land this crunch before T Tar goes out here, I would really feel as we got a lot of value out of it. Thunderbolt. Of course you have Thunderbolt. So our tower type really just hurts us. Really hurts us. We're able to soak really well because Crest isn't a hard hitter, and Crunch is coming out here doing some big time damage. Which we love. Which we absolutely love. Buffett's gonna do some damage. And I think they go back into Pole Ear and Terrastalize. I think that's just our opponent's call here. We'll see. But yeah, if we didn't Terrastalize, Titor would be thriving right now. He honestly would. But Dragapult comes back out here. I do believe, like I said, he's going to Terrastalize. And might as well just go for a last respect. He's going to do more than Shadow Sneak. Actually, let me make sure Houndstone outspeeds. Because Dragapult's fast. Yes, okay, you're going to outspeed. You're going to outspeed. So I'm going to go for a last respect here. And if I could pull off Crunch, uh, again, I would love to get off Crunch. So he's going to end up withdrawing Cresselia, bringing out his final Pokemon. And who's that going to be? And if we don't Terrastalize, Dragon Ball, I'm going to do some big time damage. It's going to be Gudra. Who's a prop? Gudra's prop. But he is going to end up Terrastalizing. A lot of these guys have been Steel type recently. Choice Band as well. There's 100% Choice Band. Um, he's going to be Steel type. I feel you. I understand. I do have Bulldoze for that too. The last respect gonna fly here. How much damage are you doing? Like five and a half. And Dragon Dart's gonna fly. Okay, so that's not too bad because Houndstone's gonna be able to eat up. And I can get off the of Bulldogs. So I'm gonna bring out Basket Legion here. Um, and we'll go from there. Right, I gotta bring out Basket Legion. I still have Houndstone on the field. I'd rather get some value out of the Sandstorm. And I might just double down into. Oh, I don't want I don't want that guy setting up, right? I get real ugly. How much damage is this gonna do? Sixty across the board. Uh Boulders maybe into a protect. Yeah, Boulders into protect. I'm not gonna slow down my basket region right now. I don't really want to do any damage to him anyway. Because I think there's a chance uh he goes into me here. I'm gonna go into a Bulldoze here. That Gujra is going to be a problem for me. It really is. I'm letting you know now, that Gujra is going to gonna win him the game. If he shelters here, it's, it's game so nice because you're going to die here. Actually, you might be able to survive with that Barry. Is the Barry going to help you out here? Barry might give you an extra turn. Barry does not. Come on, Barry. You need a little bit more HP out of you. So Gujra's here, and you already know it's coming. Yeah. I don't like that. Just don't like it. Simply do not like that. <laughs> I do not like that. So we gotta bring out you. Um, oh lord. How am I gonna deal with this Gudra? He's just so bulky. He's just too bulky. A bit too bulky. And from here, I mean, we're not gonna do a lot of damage. I might as well go for a Hurricane and maybe look for a Confusion. Right? Yeah, that's my best bet. So I'm gonna look for the Confusion there. Our typing's rough. And Gujra's a problem. Gujra's now become a problem. Liquidation gonna fly here. We're gonna finish you off. I'm terrified of this Gujra. I do not know how I'm gonna deal with it. We pretty much need to get a confusion here and have it itself in confusion. God, Paloops. I need you. I need you. More than ever right now. Get a nice little confusion here. Get a nice little confusion. Show it to me. Nah, we'll never get him. The rest of sheltering up again, um... I think we just constantly throw hurricanes at the thing. We got hurricane and then we'll finish off Crest here. We'll not allow Crest to give it some more HP. So, hurricane again. We will go into... We go last respects. Yeah, I'll go last respects. We will go last respects. And the good thing is, he can't hit me with a body press. He can't hit my Basket Legion, at least, with body press. So that's pretty good. We actually have a shot of this. Pelipper's gonna do the same amount of damage. He's not boosting defense. And I'm really, really looking for confusion. There. Come on, Paloops. Help me out here. Nice damage. We like that. Give me the ducks. No, we'll never get the ducks. Body press comes out here. We are Sash. And we're gonna be able to eat up another one of those. That's big time. We're going for a Hurricane here. And I'm going for a last specs. Do as much damage as I can. 
double down. Battle was canceled and we get the winning record with the off meta squad. We love it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Off meta squad, Regilecki and Rapsia combo. Grabbing you guys a winning record. 2 and 1. Absolutely love this team. Lost the first match, brought double weather in the third one, won that one, and then the second match was where it was at. Pulled off the Regilecki, explode combo, revived them at the same time, and almost swept that match. So, really, really cool combo I got to showcase. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.